beer, food, beer, music and beer. Invercargill's Hop and Vine Festival brought hundreds of people to SIT Zero Fees Velodrome at the weekend. And the unique event had a positive reception. <laughs> had an awesome day. Checking out a few different beers and um, probably just about had enough of them now, but <laughs> saving the best till last. I, I, I think it's absolutely amazing. It's great for Invercargill. It just brings the punters out. Um, we've had an amazing day, really have. And we've only been sipping, not not drinking too fast. <laughs> yeah, very good. I like the uh, the different IPAs and the Pilsners is what I'd recommend. Yeah. Um, the whole lot of the day is just uh, hanging out with good friends and meeting heaps of good people. The breweries included Tuatara Garage Project, Epic, Liberty, Behemoth, Eight Wired, Southport and Invercargill Brewery. Plenty took the opportunity to try a range of beers, with some clear favourites on the day. Um, probably, at the moment, this one. <laughs> but I'm hoping to head over and get a boysenberry beer from um, Invercargill Brewery. Invercargill Brewery. So, I always thought it was the best beer in New Zealand, so I thought, let's have a look around, let's test it with everybody else, and you know what? It's the best brewery in Invercargill. Uh, the Garage Project. They got one there, it's quite tasty, yeah. Currently the one I'm on, which is the Turatara IPA. Uh, so the Garage Project and also Invercargill Brewery stuff, local stuff, I think it's fantastic. They also say they hope this larger than life event returns next year. I'm Ruby Spink for The South Today.